All right, welcome back. Well, for better or for worse, Windows 10 is finally here. Uh, last night I went through the Windows 7 to Windows 10 upgrade process. Now, sometimes people ask me, why do I talk about one operating system and run another? For example, I'm, I'm running Ubuntu Linux here. Just to let beginners show beginners that you don't have to get stuck with using one operating system. You can dual boot or run different operating systems on different machines. However, that being said, last night I did run the upgrade process. Uh, what I'm going to show you is uh, some video. All I did was just hook up a simple, older, cheap uh, handheld camera onto my tripod, running the up upgrade process on my uh, big screen TV. So we'll go through the process with me narrating uh, just a little bit of a warning. The audio quality is so-and-so, but, but the video quality, I, I think, is perfectly acceptable. So let's go through the upgrade process with me doing the upgrade as would any normal Windows user and see if I was successful or not. So let's take a look at the video with me doing some narration. And then I'll have some final thoughts after the upgrade process is done. So the Windows 7 to Windows 10 upgrade process, success or failure? All right, so as you can see, the download process has begun, currently 17% downloading Windows 10. Now it does say feel free to keep using your PC. It's probably safe. I was not comfortable doing that. I figured don't touch it, let it go through the progression and uh, we'll see what happens. Will you be upgrading your Windows 7 or Windows 8 PC to Windows 10? Maybe that should be the topic of my next poll, will you be upgrading to Windows 10? Windows 8, you, might, you guys might recall when I first took a look at Windows 8, I thought it looked terrific. It was something new, something different, totally different than Windows 7. And some of you might recall that really the only thing missing was the uh, start menu the start button start menu and I thought for sure Microsoft was going to implement that function well in grandiose um, in grandiose stupidity they didn't listen to me and to millions of other Windows users they decided not to put in the start menu Windows 8 and uh, 8.1, at least uh, sales-wise, was not, I guess, not very good. Technically, there was nothing wrong with uh, Windows 8 or 8.1. You know, it wasn't a situation where it had lots of bugs or gaming got worse. It was really a matter of uh, a matter of aesthetics, a matter of uh, of looks and functionality, not a technical standpoint. Uh, but for whatever reason, again, uh, they decided to omit completely skip the start menu and now it's back in Windows 10 the way it should be all right so Windows looks like has verified the download now it is preparing my upgrade as you can see 95 percent haven't noticed any glitches so far so far so good all right 100 percent Checking for updates. Okay. Checking the PC. Okay. I wonder how many is a few things. Like two, twenty, thirty? By the way, this is a Lenovo desktop from 2012, uh, dual core, and four gigabytes of RAM. In case you're interested, all right. Let's click accept here. Choose what to keep.
more updates. Now this was just released, so I can't imagine there would be many updates. But you never know. By the way, make sure you have a fairly fast internet connection. I believe the total download is about uh, 3 gigabytes, I think. Alright, so now it says, ready to install, you will not be able to use your PC while Windows installs. To recap, you've chosen to install Windows 10 Home, keep personal files and apps. Okay. So, now it's go going through the install process as you see here. And the PC may restart several times, usually does. So, I won't record this, I'll just wait to see if this installs or crashes. So, I'll be back. Alright, well it's been over an hour and so far haven't had any glitches or issues upgrading Windows, upgrading from Windows 7 to Windows 10. Now this is the home edition, I forgot to mention that. But, but there's still time for something to crash and fail, so will it fail or will it succeed? Stick around, I will have my final thoughts on upgrading Windows. Oh, this might actually work. It says there on the top, hey there, hi there, welcome back. Okay, fine, I'll say it. What's up? At the bottom it says next. I guess I'll click next. Alright, get going fast. Change these at any time. You select use express settings. Uh, I will use express settings. New apps for the new Windows. These apps don't just commit Windows 10. They were built for it better yet. They'll work as beautifully on your phone as to... Okay, fine. Uh, let's go next. Finalizing your settings. Oh, oh, could it be? Could it be? Maybe? Let's see. Okay, it said, hi, my desktop. Hmm. Nice splash screen. Fine, hi. We're setting things up for you. Okay. Or maybe they're setting me up. <laughs> I know you Linux folks are saying, come on, come on, crash. Let it crash on toss. Come on, come on, crash. There's still time for this not to work. This won't take long. Well, I've heard that before. Well, it's only a dual-core machine, so... But it's a Lenovo, and, and Lenovo's, at least for me, have been very, very reliable. Instead of saying this won't take long, I wish it would say this won't take more than five minutes, ten minutes, a thousand minutes. I would prefer that. But that's okay. All right, well, I'll be back again, I guess. Well, there you have it. It would appear, at least for my upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10, my upgrade, it appears, has been successful. Now, later on, I will have some more videos on the apps and functionality and any bugs, but at least for this upgrade video, it has been completely successful, at least so far. All right, well, there you have it. It apparently upgraded successfully. I know that's very disappointing for all of you Linux folks. Uh, hey, I did my best for it to fail, but what can I say it worked, at least the upgrade process. So later on, I'll have some more videos 
on Windows uh, 10 from Windows 7 and see if it actually works the way I think it will work. All right, well, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. One final reminder, don't forget to vote for your favorite YouTuber for the month of July. That ends at the end of July. I might give you a few more days since there's been all this excitement for Windows 10. All the links will be below in the show notes. Thanks again. Enjoy your technology. And uh, you know what? Please don't text and drive. Take care.